Hey, my trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. I am going to try to answer a couple questions that I saw about my pictures, which I put them up here so you don't have to go searching for them, but I posted it on my community page. And I'm going to have to go with y'all. I don't know if I wanted to be in denial because my clothes don't feel different yet. Something doesn't feel different yet, but y'all say y'all see a difference. My trainer said, I need to stop playing with myself. There's a difference. My husband said, why are you like this? There's a difference. <laughs> so I'm trying to really look at it. Um, but, and I can't edit this. So y'all just gonna have to speed me up if I take too long in the pauses and stuff. I, I can't, if I edit this, I'll never put it out. Um, so with the, with, Okay, what was I doing from February 1st to April 25th? I was still mostly eating bad food, too much food. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I really still was. I think I just ate so much bad food that even doing slightly less on some days of the week, not a lot of days of the week, was making a difference. And then I moved around more with her working out. And then um, some, I'm telling y'all, I only have one or two good days where I actually got decent steps in where I got to 5,000 or 6,000 steps a day in those, let's see, February, March, April, in those, that was really almost 90 days. In that time, I maybe hit 10,000 steps or right near 10,000 steps, maybe four days, five days out of those, out of those 90 days. So I haven't made drastic changes yet. I, I still don't know about making drastic changes because I don't want to get discouraged and stop because this is supposed to be long-term. So I didn't really, I wanted things to be quick, but I didn't do the things that would make it quicker because I did want to be sustainable. So I do want to be smaller. I don't like being this size. Um, so I was very insecure when I went to Melocon. Um, I'm hoping that I'm closer to where I want to be by the time. I mean, not Melocon, but I went to Mimosas with Melody. I was insecure about my size. Like I just am. Um, and then, but when Melo Melocon comes, I'm hoping I'm a little bit closer to the size I want to be. But with the, unless I start actually tracking my food, um, getting those steps in, being more active like I'm supposed to, this is about the pace it's going to be. And I have to be okay with that because I know what choices I'm making. Um, and so I only literally, literally made small changes. There was like, for every month, there's probably about a week out of them, out of those 90 days. So almost three months, there's probably about a week where I made like super good choices. And when I say that, I mean, like I was making egg drop soup at home for one of my weeks. I was, uh, and I wasn't eating soup only. I'm just saying it, it does fill you up pretty well because protein does make you feel fuller. So if you are better than me and you could just go ahead and commit getting higher protein in wherever you can will make you feel more satiated and your body works harder to break it down. So it takes a little bit more calories or no, I'm sorry. It, it kind of like, yeah, it takes a little bit more calories to burn protein. So you're kind of doing yourself a favor there too. And I am in, I am an omnivore. I have not given up a food group. I'm, I don't plan on giving up a food group anytime soon, if ever, because again, this is how I want to live the rest of my life. And I don't know, like, I'm just not, I'm not the vegan type. I'm not the vegetarian type. That's just that. That's not me. Um, so there was a lot of uh, lean beef in my stuff. <laughs> there was a lot of, uh, I don't know, but y'all, I was still eating out some days. I was still, I mean, shoot, just two weeks ago, I'm still over here getting the Wendy's combo sometimes. I was out here doing, uh even the McDonald's. I was, I sometimes still did McDonald's y'all. I just tried to have more days where I made slightly better choices. That's really was real life. That's why I haven't even posted videos about what the heck I've been doing. Cause I was going to feel like a broken record. Hey y'all, I did it again. I went to go get some fast food. I did it again. I went to such and such. So yeah. So my steps, let me tell you some days, my steps didn't get over 3000 steps in a day because I, I, that's also where I was reducing where I was like, okay, let me, let me calm down on some, some, some stuff that keeps me sitting down all the time. Um, try to pull back a little bit. For instance, I didn't, I don't post content every day. <clears throat> and that's only one reason. The other reasons, <clears throat> sorry. The other reasons are because I do need, I need time to do other stuff on the back end. I need to marinate on some news that comes out. And so I have to force myself to take my time. But the other one is 
editing makes me sit down a lot and I wouldn't move around because I'm sitting down for hours editing or researching and all that stuff. So this is this is the result of moving around a little bit more. My trainer, we usually work out two days a week. We're Tuesdays, Thursdays most of the time, unless I had a makeup day, which means I missed a day somewhere else and she lets me get a makeup day. We are only together two days a week. Um, there were some times y'all were seeing my stories, like you're probably seeing my stories this morning. I would try to go to <clears throat> my local gym and do something elliptical a little bit. Uh, I would do the treadmill with a walk. I would walk the treadmill with a little bit of an incline. I'm, um, I'm trying to now be more intentional about doing more of the weight machines and stuff. And if my husband, if he'll record me, I, that'll probably be on Patreon, the YouTube membership. And I'll probably put one sample in my stories. But um, most of this is very, very small changes. My trainer and I talked about, um, so my goal for this week coming up is try to cook at home four times a week this week. Try, because I don't meet these goals most times, y'all. That's what I'm saying. This is not, it's not, I'm not on a strict regimen yet. And when I say yet, it's because I don't feel motivated enough. Like eventually I'll weigh my school, to, my, weigh my school, weigh my food, because I do have a food scale and that's what I used to do. I'm going to weigh my food again. I'll get back there. And I'm going to tell y'all now, if you end up weighing your food, weigh it in grams. Don't weigh it in the other metrics or units because grams are kind of universal across the board and you really can get more of an accurate calorie count. So when you look at your serving size and it says like 28 grams per serving, change your scale to grams and do it that way. That way you can always know for sure. And it's not like a estimate if you're trying to get into a really good calorie deficit, which that's where I'm eventually going to be. But I've got to beat these cravings little by little. Um, I never smoke cigarettes, but I swear I feel like, you know, the way I like food, you know, that's how people be addicted to cigarettes. Um, what else? Oh, someone asked targeting, how did I lose weight around my waist? That was nature and Jesus. <laughs> no, because for real, everything I've ever known, you can't target fat on a body. You just have to go for a calorie deficit. And as the, as you, so if you, um, <clears throat> if your body naturally burns 1600 calories a day based on your height, weight, age, then you try to just eat less than 1600 calories a day. And that is the deficit. And then, um, and I'm not saying do that all the time. I'm not even saying that's what I do now, but I move more. So I'm building my calorie deficit from extra calories. I'm burning from working out with her, trying to move around more than I used to. And since, I, since I'm going from not doing anything to something, my body for now is, is this is how it's changing. And I want to keep emphasizing that because I don't want people to think you have to have a strict regimen to see a little change because I'm making little changes to see changes in my body right now. Eventually, I'll start doing the home workouts again because I used to um, turn on YouTube and watch some people that work out for home workouts because everybody ain't trying to be in no gym. So that was one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So I do home. I, I be looking at home workouts and stuff. So I'm trying to get back there, but I'm not. I, I haven't been motivated for that yet. And I, I want to keep talking about the low motivation, but still small changes because I really have been low motivated, but it's still changes showing. So I want to talk about it because a lot of people, I think, feel like they have to change everything at one time to see a difference. And you don't as long as you can be patient with yourself. And even this seeing this, has she not said, let's take a picture. I still wouldn't have understood the progress I made. I still wouldn't. <clears throat> so you just have to do this. And I'm 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 almost intentionally not telling y'all how many pounds I lost because like. Journey to Jasmine called it. She said, this is almost like a body recompositioning because I haven't lost really that much weight. I, I really haven't. Um, this this is definitely to me from weight resistance. And my trainer uses mostly my own, mostly my own body's resistance or she'll have a little resistance band. That's still more your, you know, it's not that much. Or she'll, she today, I mean, yesterday she, I had, I put on a eight pound weight vest. I have one that goes up to, I think I have a 15, maybe a 20 something. And I have a 40 pound weight vest, which I'll work my way back up to because I used to be active and then I, I got cocky. And then this is what happened. I stopped paying attention to my patterns and this is what happened. But um, yeah, so um, she kettlebell sometimes uh, she has. She, she If you join Patreon or YouTube, you'll see some of the stuff she has me doing. And the booties parked up. 
because of those squats, not shots. I'll tell y'all, she be having me do. If we don't do nothing else, it's going to be some squats in that workout. <laughs> you'll see. If y'all follow, you'll see. Um, oh, so you, from everything I know, you cannot target where fat is lost. There's no specific workout to just target your waist. You can strengthen muscles and target muscles, but you cannot necessarily target where fat reduces from. Um, because if so, I would have said just do all stomach focus and we'll focus on the arms and everything else later, <laughs> but you, you can't do that. Um, unless you get lipo, you can't target where your fat's going to go. Uh, was there anything else? Um, so y'all, again, I average about three to 4,000 steps a day on good days and then on great days, which is only a few days out of the 90 days of working out. Um, I got to close to 10 K or I hit a 10 K step day. Um, I'm going to the gym this morning. It'll probably be the weight resistance machines today. And if we have time, maybe I will go uh, get on one cardio machine. I just do heavy resistance on the cardio machines most times. I don't really go for trying to be fast. I go for the resistance on the machine. Um, and I have a lot of music playing. Or if you're a person that likes to have a show, have something so you can play it, you know, so you don't get bored on the machine. It's still boring. That's why. It's, oh, and let me say that when I would go to the gym, most times I'm so bored. You can't keep me in that gym a lot of times over 25 minutes, sometimes not even 20 minutes on good days. Yeah, I'd be there for an hour, but there's not a lot of good days. So that's another thing. It's not a forever type thing to be in. So, um, it's just time and building up that calorie deficit. Um, it's called a, a BMR, I believe. And that's just what your how much your body burns um when your body's at rest and then you try to build on that so like for me i think i'm gonna have to do mine again i hadn't i haven't done mine for like over a year i haven't checked it but i think let's just say i'm at about 1550 1550 calories my body will burn if i just laid in bed and slipped then i'm just my goal is to eventually just keep moving more to give it now I've burned an extra 200 calories from, you know, getting a good old walk in or or exercise in. So now my body's going to burn about 17, 1,750 calories a day if I can get in just one one good workout. Obviously, I do more than it'll burn more that day. And then I try to go for when I'm being good. I try to go for foods that won't knock me out really fast on eating all my calories. So lean meats because I need my meat. That's me. So lean meats are really good for that. Um, yesterday I had a team lunch and when I went there, it was a Mexican restaurant and I usually would choose either a taco salad or something else. But I, I was like, I'm gonna go for fajitas today because fajitas is, you know, it's just, it's, it's nice. You can get either, uh, seafood, chicken or, or steak or, you know, lean beef. I got the lean beef and then it's, you're just eating bell peppers and onions. I didn't eat the rice. I ate all the, like the lettuce, the tomatoes they gave me, um, I didn't even, for me, I didn't even eat the tortillas that time. I was like, let me get full off of this meat and vegetable part of this fajita. Um, but it did fill me up. I actually, yesterday, I don't even think I was looking for dinner yesterday, but I still ate candy yesterday. And I need to be very honest with that so y'all know there's no like huge restriction going on right now. So I, I eat cookies and cream, mini bars. I, I be having m and Krispies in the house. Um, but I just try not to bring the whole bag up with me. I try to grab some and walk upstairs and then just eat that. And then we'll see if I'm still craving it type stuff. So I definitely was still eating sugary sweets. Oh, and I had a virgin pina colada too. So that was all sugar. Cause there was no alcohol. That was all sugar. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make the small changes. Just aim for the small changes. Um, shout out to the people, uh, that, that said they got motivated and I don't want to say names cause uh, they didn't make it public, but the, um, you know, that they, they got motivated. They bought a little bit of a, a small piece of equipment, nothing crazy, you know, and they just, uh, they're increasing trying to be moving around or working out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be for long and it don't got to be every day of the week. Um, but yeah, please follow my journey. So you could just see the kind of workouts that she'll have me doing. Eventually, um, I do try to do them at home. I have not been motivated enough to do that, but we've worked out before my, this is my trainer from before. So she already knows me. I know her. Um, I feel like that's all for now, but just focus on the, the small changes and you'll see the changes. Just be patient. Like, don't, don't try to go for lose 15 pounds in four weeks. Like, don't, that's where it gets discouraging. And then we, we go the other way sometimes and, and make it worse for ourselves, like overeating again or binging and stuff. So yeah, that's it. It's been small changes. I'm hoping that I feel more, um, motivated to then make 
the medium size changes next. I really do want to uh, have a certain look for Melicon, but it's my own choices if I don't, because it really is calorie deficit. Well, it's really calorie deficit, but the way I did the calorie deficit was trying to be a little more intentional about my food and moving around more. So we're aiming for 7K, 7,000 steps a day. I have not reached, reached that yet because we Tuesday was when we made that goal. It's Friday. I ain't hit 7K steps in a day yet. I got to 6,000 on one of them. So, yeah, we, we really are making just anything is better than nothing type goals. Uh, I love her for that. She's not hard on me. She's just very motivating. She'll send me messages and stuff like that. So. All right, y'all. So I hope that helped. And if you have more questions, I'm probably going to say if I answer them, I'm going to answer them in my membership only, though. So please join me there. But I just want to let you know there's no secret secrets. Like there is no secrets. There's no secrets to hide. That's what it is. So that's the general. All right. Thank you for um, watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.